Hey friends. All right. I'm just making sure this is in the camera enough. Let me pull this back. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Perfect. All right. So this mold right here, how cool is this? So this I got off of Amazon. It was actually pretty expensive. I got it a few months ago. So you might be able to find them a little cheaper now, but it was like $35 for this mold. But it is for post-it notes. How cute is this? I'm not sure how much epoxy it's going to take in there. It actually doesn't look like it's going to be too bad, but we'll see. But I thought that this would be really cute for course anybody that works in an office but like even for teacher gifts and so I'm first going to like make it just with glitter and see how it looks but I feel like like you could put a name down here here you could put a saying here you could even like do this a color and then go clear over it and put like a little you know funny kind of saying right here or a little picture like there is so much that you could do with this and I just think it's adorable so we're going to use my glitter chimp resin it's been sitting around for a while part a and part B and I'm gonna start with I think I'm gonna start with like I'm gonna do 20 of each so we're gonna start with like 40 and see So we're gonna mix it all together and put everything in the cup. Now, technically, really, I should mix it into each other and then back into each other again. That's, you know, to get the absolute best, but I, you know, I generally don't. But if you were doing, like getting the best mix, you would mix into one cup into the other, then back into it, and then you can put it in your bigger cup. Now I'm just going to give this a little stir, and I'm going to put it in my um, epoxy mixer, and then we'll get it after four minutes. All right, so this cup was definitely too small for the amount of epoxy that I put in, so some of it spilled over the edge. The biggest problem with that is that if that's the case, then I have to worry about did it spill out unevenly because it wasn't really stirred, you know what I mean? So then if it's uneven, I run the risk of ruining my project, but I'm gonna keep going and we'll see. So whoever gets these things from me, if you hadn't seen my last video, just go back and look at it and you'll know what I'm talking about. Just know that, you know, these epoxy mixers are nice, but you can only put so much in them. So this video probably won't go up until Tuesday because I do have to work while I'm seeing my grandkids Sunday. So I won't do anything on Sunday and then Monday, Tuesday. Actually, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I might be able to put it up on Tuesday. 
All right, let's see. All right, so this is 40 cc's. And I think that these are nice gifts and I think that they would also sell nice. So whoever gets this mold from me, you know, just keep in mind that you do need to um, Think about the amount of epoxy that you're using when you're making your pricing. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's 40. And I feel like because we need to go, I feel like maybe another 30 would be enough. Maybe even more than enough. But let's let's do another 30. I'm just gonna mix it up and then um, I'll come back after it's mixed, okay? All right, so while that's mixing, I want you guys to see, and when I go back and look at the video, I'll try and zoom in, but I want you to see all these bubbles right here. And as it sits, the bubbles will come up. Now, of course, you can use your heat gun to get rid of this. The only problem with your heat gun is, you know, it does make your epoxy kind of move a little, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, some people use a torch, but I personally wouldn't recommend using a torch on your molds because you can ruin them, you know, and molds are expensive. What I personally like to use is denatured alcohol. And I get it at like Lowe's or Home Depot. It's not expensive. It's like 10 bucks for a big thing of it. And it lasts forever. And then I also use it like if I'm putting, um, if I am putting decals on something, that's what I use to clean it beforehand. And denatured alcohol is basically just a higher alcohol content. And in order to use alcohol like this, your alcohol content has to be at least 92%. Okay, so you can use denatured alcohol and just spray it and watch the bubbles go away. And your bubbles will just go away. And now we'll give it a few minutes and make sure no other bubbles come up. And we'll spray it again if we need to. And the alcohol is no big deal. It won't hurt your um, it won't hurt your project at all. At all, of course, you can't have water in your project because that'll mess it up. And that's why it has to be a much higher alcohol content. Um, let's see. Oh no, that's I thought that was a bubble. That's actually a piece of silver glitter. <laughs> All right, so no more bubbles, they're all gone, and the alcohol just works so well. All right. This time I did 30 cc's, and of course nothing spilled. 30 cc's is really about the good point for these turners, uh, turners, listen to me, um, epoxy mixers. And the reason I like the epoxy mixer, it's not necessarily that it does a better job mixing than me. It's just that, you know, when you're mixing it yourself, you know, it's easy to not do that full mix just because your hand gets tired you know four minutes is a long time when you're just standing there stirring epoxy is this going to be enough i hope so we're going to make it enough so the thing with the you know epoxy spinner is 
our mixer is just that you know it allows you to do a better job of making sure that you get the full mix because you're going to get a much better project if you mix appropriately okay so that's actually the perfect amount of epoxy now i'm going to wipe my edges off if you do this make sure that you don't touch inside in your epoxy because this is water on this um, rack here and it will mess your project up even if you just touch it so be super careful And I like to kind of pull my edges a little bit and just make sure that everything's like down in the edges. All right, so this is super cute and you can definitely like you can, um, again, you know, we're not putting anything on here because this is our first one. I wanna see, you know, what it looks like out of the mold but I can already tell it's gonna be super cute. And you could do like some totally cute stuff here. And so where I put glitter, you know, back in for the second part of it, like you, I would even, if you wanted to decorate this, I would even just do clear. So I would put a little bit of clear on this and then put down whatever decal or whatever you're gonna use and then clear over it all. That would be super cute. All right, so this looks good, and um, we'll come back when it's finished, and it's going to be super cute. I'm loving it. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, this looks so good. Oh, so satisfying pulling molds out, right? Oh yeah, this is cute. Okay, so it's very, um, like colorful in one color. So it makes it a little bit harder to see, but I don't know if you can see. So there's a ridge right in here and I don't have any big post-it notes to show you, but it's cut down in here so that you can put now this one holds the big note post-it pads and you just take the back off of the post-it pad and you put it down in there and this holds your post-it pads super cute so i think that you could you know you could put a name across here you could do like i said like a saying up in here so many things you could do. This is so pretty. This is really pretty. This is a cool idea. And our epoxy came out really good. And I like it. I wish that it was for a smaller post-it note because, you know, you got to buy the big ones. But that's okay. Super cute. All right. So I hope you guys like it. And depending, I have a few things that I want to get done with the amount of epoxy I have. So, you know, depending, maybe we'll do some, you know, other ones. But this turned out good. All right. I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. And I'll see you later. Bye.